I was uh, looking at my email and I received an email that said, my name is Michael King and I am an Emmy Award winning filmmaker and I am interested in hearing about your story and it had a cell phone number. And I thought, well, I'm just going to call the number just to see. And Michael answered right away and began to tell me about how he had found me. He would found me through the book and began to ask me what, why I had written a book, what my story was about, if I felt comfortable telling my story in a documentary that he was doing, which was about post-traumatic stress. And we would be one of three families uh, mentioned in the documentary and followed on how post-traumatic stress affects families. It was really fascinating working with Michael because the fact that he was an Emmy Award winning director didn't seem to matter to him. What he really wanted was to capture the true essence of our story when, when he was filming us. And so he would often ask how I felt about things, how what scene would be better. He, he asked for ideas and he listened many times to my ideas and he was always considerate of my family first. If there was something that we felt was too exposing us too much, he, would, he wouldn't do it, he wouldn't ask it of us. One day I was, just happened to be, noticed that he had changed the title of the film from Intrepid to When War Comes Home. And the name of my book is The War That Came Home. And so he had gotten some inspiration from my book to change the title of the film. And I asked him about it, and he said, well, it's a good title. I felt really honored at that point, and not just for the title, but for the fact that he was so respectful of our family throughout the process.